Welcome to the instructional handover video for the Chasson Sweet Relax. So walking around the outside, we're based on a Fiat cab, it's on 130 engine. Uh, it's got the folding mirrors, they're electrically operated from inside, but they do just manually fold in and open. Here we've got a gas bottle. This particular model has been fitted with a gas low system, uh, which has a filler point in the actual locker, uh, lower locker and a bottle there that just turns on with a little dial on the top and you have a regulator up there. In front of that we've got an external shower point and then in this one here you can see that it's marked up with the chef which is the easy chef and again with one key to operate it It then shows you with your isolation valve for isolating it, your Easy Chef, which has both a griddle and a three burner hob on there, your lights for each of the ones, and then an igniter unit on there as well. Heat deflectors that are built in to stop the side of the vehicle or the side of anyone that's at the other side from getting warm. And when that's finished, that just put, pushes up and locks in place. Underneath that, we have the drain for the fresh water tank. There is a fitting that goes in the end to empty and fill up the drain for your fresh water. So that's your blue pipe. We have an electric step, which is operated just inside the habitation door, just there. And on the habitation it's door itself, we have a fly screen, a bin, and a blind. Make sure that that's closed before you then close your habitation door. This also locks with the key. We've got your awning light, and above that we have your F45 Fiamma awning. It's a manually winding awning, but I'll send you a separate video for this that shows you how to operate the Fiamma awnings uh, when I send you your instructional video out. Behind that, we have, again, one key that does most of the external lockers to show you your toilet area. Now, your toilet area is pretty simple. Put lift up the handle, slide it out, empty it by removing the grey cap, slide it back in and then put your toilet fuel, fluid or sachets in there to with your uh, chemical blue chemicals on this. There is no rinse tank, separate rinse tank, you can buy the spray. We've got your window for your bathroom, your window for your rear bed area and lower down we have your access to the underbed storage area. So these are twist locks and we have access underneath here to the rear storage available from outside as I've got into it or from lifting up the bed on the inside. Carpets and your packs there. It also comes with your tire inflation kit and your winding handle for the awning. To close it, you can simply twist it and put a bit of force on it to just make sure that the door meets the seal, twist, and then they will lock by turning the position of the lock and pushing in like that. So once they're pushed in like that, they are locked. When they're open like that and you twist it, they will allow you to get access in there. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, this particular model again has been fitted with a two bike rack and this is a Fiamma bike rack. Pretty simple operation with these. You can add additional rails as well. And it has a reversing camera, which is an option as well, fitted above the window. Round to the side of the vehicle, we can see there's a sticker here. And this denotes where your waste tank is for your wastewater or grey water. That is operated with the black handle here that just simply slides in and out to empty or to use the waste water. In front of that, we've got your fridge vents. And in front of that, we've got your mains plug-in point. Further forward, we have got your boiler and there will be a drain valve for this as well. You need to remove that cover if you're using it off gas. You can leave it on if you want to use it on electric. But on gas, you will need to remove it. Forward of that, just behind the door, we have your diesel filler point. And then in front of that, through the passenger door, the usual place for the fear, you have the bonnet release catch. Now, your engine battery is located underneath there, 
and underneath that seat there is your toolkit that's supplied by Fiat. We have a passenger airbag, we have a glove box and storage area just there, one lower down and another one in the middle, electric window switches, and we are fitted as standard with the Remy's cab lines, both on the driver and the passenger, also fitted by pinching together on the front window. That will go around the mirror and then magnetise with the one on the other side. You may need to move the camera position depending on where you've got it set for him to close. So be aware of that. Engine wise, you'll find the bonnet release catch is located just underneath, there on the little uh, yellow uh, handle. We have screen wash, oil, dipstick, positive point and your negative point is just on that screw just at the front there. That's the outside covered, let's move on inside. So once inside the vehicle, underneath this seat is where your fresh water tank is located and your filler point to fill it up is located just through the access uh, cap there or you can open up there and fill it up from the tank itself. So either of those two points side by side are where you fill up your fresh water. This particular model has two lap seat belts, so forward facing seat belts in the rear, as well as your driver and your passenger seat belts just there. The cab itself has another glove box in the middle. We have air conditioning, we have hazard lights and your locking points, a manual six speed gearbox, a reversing camera, light switch at the top, cruise control at the bottom. On the opposite side, we have your windscreen wipers and right at the end of the tip is your trip counter. Your mode settings to allow you to go in and change time, your day, your kilometers. Central locking, uh, sorry, uh, electric window switches and the mirror controls for both the passenger and driver. The handbrake is located just to the right hand side and you will see that the seats will swivel around. To release the seats from the forward facing position, you pull that handle back and move the chair around using the bar underneath to slide it backwards and forwards. The windows inside all come with five screens and blinds as you've seen set here. So you can either have the blind five screen down or you can have the blind all the way up. They are exactly the same on all of them. And to release it, you just Pinch that and hold it and then press the two together to release it down. The side window is a sliding window. Just pull that back off the locking point and that will open the window on that side. All the other ones utilise the normal window stay option. And then work simply by pressing the button where my thumb is on all the points. and then slowly up and that will hold in place just like that all the way up to the top to come all the way back down so be careful if you're parking close to a building you will need to leave yourself enough room to open the window fully extendable and then enough room to close it down the controls in the vehicle can be all be found above the actual door itself and these are pretty simple so we'll start from the top and that is your main power button on and off. So that's like your standby button on most modern equipment. So turn it on, that will give you power to your awning light, which is this one here, your main lights, which turn on and off on this one here, your water tank, so if you press it, it will tell you if there are any, any water remaining in the tank. Battery level, it will tell you what level of power is in the battery. We also have an indicator down at the bottom to tell us that we're plugged into mains. And then we have a pump button for the pump that is either on or off. You'll see that they illuminate when you select them, so it's pretty straightforward in that respect. On the bed, a few things to bear in mind with the bed. The first thing is that you must release this catch above. So this buckle must be, must be out for it to operate. It also needs to have the key in there. And that is the little key there. And it must be turned to the position and you will see the lights are flashing once you've done this that will allow you to operate the bed by pressing the up and the down points this particular lifting bed oper operation 
can be programmed to work in several different options. The one thing you must remember to do is before you bring in the bed down fully, then you will need to up fold down both the side cushions and drop the table. Yeah. So to drop the table, then you must operate it from this key switch here. And once that's pressing, then you will be able to lower the position of the table. Well, again, make sure that there's no obstructions. I always find it easier to move the cushions up to do this out of your way. But it does slide into position nicely out of the way to its lowest level. Once you've removed all the cushions and the table's at its lower level, you'll need to just fold the, the backrest down and you do that by lifting that little handle up and that will allow you to pull the, the backrest down. Just like so. So now we've got it all in position, we can then press the button on the bed which then allows the bed to come down to its preset positions so the first height being there press the button again will take you down to the ladder level and then keep your finger on it all the way and again making sure that there's no obstructions it allows the bed to go all the way down now this can be set to different ones, depending on where you want it to go. But you'll see it's nice and bright and airy. You've got your own lights that are up there. And you've got a nice big double mattress. Putting it back up, you just do the reverse. So press the button and you'll see it operating back up. To the first stopping point. Again to the second stopping point and then the last part being the manual bit so you can stop it at any height and then clip back in your safety buckle and turn off your switch for your power. There is, I know you'll be asking, at the end of here a point there where you have a winding handle to manually operate that bed position should you want to do that. So that's the bed operation. We've got your TV bracket there and the various mains 12 volt and aerial sockets located there. This particular model actually has a automated satellite system on, which is a Rode Pro unit and that's operational by turning on the box and there is a dome on the roof of the vehicle. To turn off the lights, there are individual little switches uh, denoted around the vehicle. So you'll see different switches lower down higher up which will turn off the variance lights in the vehicle so before I put the bed back up I'll just show you underneath the seat behind the passenger side which is where all your uh, charger units main RCD box and your fuses are located right down at the bottom here I think you'll be able to see it there you'll see that there's a little uh, just above my finger there yellow rocker switch now that is the drain point for your boiler that is your water heater now you must open and close that as and when you want to drain the water out of the vehicle uh, otherwise the boiler work potentially could freeze so it's that little yellow valve just down at the bottom of it of that area there which you need to open so in the vertical position it will empty and then when you lay it down either forward or backwards that will allow you then to uh, use the hot water system and that is located just behind there and that operates just on the switch here so this is your electric option so it has three positions it has the zero which is off the top position which is one kilowatt and the bottom position which is two kilowatts it, now it also operates off the gas and that can be found just here behind the kitchen unit lower down and you will see a similar three-way switch zero being off 50 being 50 degrees 70 being 70 degrees so that is your gas side of it 
and the electric side of it is just on that side. That is for the water heater. The heat in itself is this Webasto heater here. Now, when it's turned to the zero position, which you'll see is at like one o'clock, there will be no lights present on it. As soon as you move it, you will see that there is a green indicator. And if you turn that all the way around, now you'll see your lights are flickering. There isn't a problem that is normal. Now we do advise you, as this takes power from the batteries, to do this either before you turn off your engine, because you can have this on in transit, or to do it once you are plugged in to mains. So that is your heater. To turn it up, you turn it towards 11 o'clock. To turn it down, you turn it back the other way. And to turn it all the way off, it's up to one o'clock and the light will click and go off. We also, as you can see there, has a main socket at the side of it. So the heating of the vehicle, gas water heating, electric water heating. Cooker wise, we have a Dometic unit and it's a two burner hob, pretty self-explanatory. Igniter here, this side is here, this one is over here. Water, so once we've filled up the fresh water and we've also filled up the boiler down in the compartment here, we can come to the taps, we can put the pump on, the control panel up there, turn the tap through to the hot position and then open the tap up to fill the boiler. Now it is imperative that you fill the boiler first and then either select your electric or your gas option before you're trying to do anything with the heating of the hot water. Yeah, so that's the same both in the bathroom area as well. You see you've got little indicators to tell you. Pull it through here as well as your kitchen area. So staying with the kitchen, we've got drawers all the way. Now they are soft clothes, so they were a little bit before their time. And we'll gently close to lock them fully in position. Just click in each of the buttons. We have a good storage unit to the side of it and some isolation valves just down at the bottom. The isolation valves will all be left in a usable position. So only turn them off if you're advised to do so by an engineer. We have plenty of cupboard space. And again, just pop the little switches in to open it up on both sides. Just that, and we even have on this particular model a closing door which you pinch and then slide across to give anyone that is wanting to have a lie down privacy from the main lounge area. So in front of the door, which again you can either have open or close, you will find the grill option so that is located just there for the grill or the oven option at the bottom so clearly indicated and once you move the switch it will allow you to use whichever operation you want below that we have the Dometic fridge to turn it on press the mode button just there and then we can select then which mode we want so give it a minute or so to just kick in and then by holding and pressing the mode button it will allow you then to just either select gas, reset the system, mains or 12 volt. 12 volt only works when your engine is running so please bear that in mind. We have a little blower that does there and then we have the temperature setting just there. Another little blower that blows it around to stop it from fr freezing up the freezer compartment. Now we have some winter switches which can be operated by sliding this little valve both on here and on the lower one. So when you're not using it and you want it to stop the mold from gathering up over the winter months, just press them in and they'll both stick out and then just close it and that will allow it to breathe just like that. When you're wanting then to use it again through the summer you just press and slide it back and then that will fully close just like that yeah now underneath we have another storage compartment and your isolation valve just in there you'll see the vents that are uh, around the vehicle uh, there are for your blown air heating and you can open and close them as you wish 
your toilet we have the flush facility there and we have an indicator to tell you when it is full which will come up with a little red light we have the light switch just turns on and off just there storage for your belongings towel rail and an opening point for opening and closing the one please make sure that the various little buckles are in place for traveling and on the toilet at the front you've got the blade valve that allows it to uh, open and close the toilet your tambo door just make sure it's closed in transit and it magnetizes on there into the rear we've got light switches just around we've also got an extractor turbo vent on the roof which simply turns on and off just there and you can have it as an in or an out to open up the sky roof light then you turn that little dial there so the fittings that you probably gathered by now on the video all work in the same way just push that and open so a big wardrobe there it's also been fitted with a solar panel and that's where the regulator is located just up there the blinds as mentioned previously all our flash screens and blinds as i've set them up there they do have curtains that are decorative and then just pull up using a little sliding pin there we have a couple more light switches just in here a nice mirror and some more storage just in here and lower down at the back down there we also have a cupboard that comes down wash bin things like that that's located just underneath there and again make sure that they're all in place then before you're traveling and then lastly we have your lift up storage area which again was accessible earlier in the video just through that hatch there or again through here the one thing to remember on leaving the vehicle and it is pretty simple is that you've turned off your heating if you want to do that and then to turn off the main power control you just do there please make sure that you unplug your heating uh your, sorry, your electrical cable uh but i think that will then pretty much apart from a couple of little storage areas which are located just at the side of it we'll complete our handover video for this i'm sure you'll agree beautiful looking chasson suite relax we look forward to hearing from you from you about your adventures we look forward to any comments or feedback on the videos and we hope you enjoy your new motor on